Thank you for staying with us. Let's continue here. The Bertha Goa Hospital hosted an annual memorial lecture in honor of the late anti-apartheid and women's rights activist. Speakers included Dr. Nkosa Zana Damini Zuma as well as Dr. Pumzile Nlambunuga. This year's lecture was hosted under the theme, Time for Light of Humanity to Shine Within Communities for All and a Better Future for All. Joining me now in studio to discuss her legacy is the acting CEO of the Bertha Goa Hospital, Zota Mufugeng, as well as Foundation Chairperson, Dr. Namani Mahao. I'll start with you, Memo Fugeng. Firstly, speak to us about the strategic activities to help keep the legacy of Mama Bertha alive. Thank you very much, Antlantla. It's a pleasure to be here. As Bertha Goa Hospital, there are three uh, key priorities. Mm that basically uh, put forth to honor the legacy of Mama Bertha Koa. Uh, the first one focused basically on pediatrics and neonatology, whereby as a hospital we increase the bed capacity with the establishment of a neonatal high care unit. And uh, the essence was that was to look forth to reduce uh, morbidity and mortality. Mm. And this is one of uh, the pride of the hospital in view of us knowing that uh, we have basically pressures within maternal and child health. Uh, in essence, what has emanated is that we were able to have the success of um, delivery of a 500 gram that basically was managed within the facility and discharged home mm. Uh, mm. with a weight of 1.8 kg. The second one basically uh, obstetrics and gynecology. Mm. The hospital basically is able to uh, reach out to the community right. in essence of average deliveries per month is 500. And we are working in collaboration with Charlotte Berkeley Academic Hospital whereby basically we look for on level two services. Mm. So the essence of that is that we are in a position basically to ensure that there is basically ma maternal uh, morbidity and uh, mortality reduction. And the other perspective that basically we are looking at is um, the hospital itself is in a position to reduce uh, surgical backlog since mm -hmm. we know that we are challenged. And uh, the center of excellence for breast surgery and arthroplasty. And um, the highlights that basically we have as the hospital basically are putting us in the limelight of being the quality for a uh, the hub mm. of um, uh, the health services and uh, innovation and creativity with the center of public service innovation. That's basically what we have explored and the accessibility with the purpose for us to ensure that high quality uh, services with accessibility and efficiency is done within the uh, hospital. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Mahao, I want to speak now about uh, the annual lecture. Uh, speak to us firstly about how you decided on the theme for this year and just touch on the speakers that uh, took, uh, took part in this year's activities. We speak here about Dr. Gosaza Nazamini Zuma as well as Dr. Pumzile Mlambunguga. Uh, what did they have to say? Well, uh, the, the, this year's theme was uh, on it is uh, time to reignite mm. that uh, light of humanity, which is a great legacy that Mam Betha left us. And uh, for this year's event, it was also great mm. that we partnered with uh, Betha Goa Hospital, which is a hospital that uh, is not only named after Mam Betha Goa, mm. but embodies that spirit of service, that spirit of developing women and children and attending to health issues in the community. Mm -hmm. And also, if you look carefully at what uh, Betha Goa Hospital does, mm -hmm. it is a hospital that's located in a community and that does its utmost best to respond to the human needs of communities. We, as Betha Goa Foundation, mm -hmm. found it important, particularly during these tiring times yeah. of the pandemic, of unemployment, mm -hmm. of even serious hunger in our communities, we felt it was important to draw from that spirit yeah. of this great icon, Mambe Sagoa, to again re-inspire mm -hmm. that spirit of Mambe Sagoa that got the community proud about who they are, proud about ensuring their environments were clean, 
were safe. Mm -hmm. And also, we got the speakers who, Dr. Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma, Minister Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma, was the first chair of Betha Goa Foundation. Yeah. And also someone who has worked for years with Mam Betha Goa. Uh, Dr. Pumzile Mlambonguka also worked with Mam Betha Goa. And at these moments when all of us are thinking about what is it that we need to be doing yeah. to bring out the best within ourselves, our human best, to ensure that those around us can also experience that light of care, of inspiration. We are going through times when from the speeches that we got from mm. our outstanding speakers, mm. and let me also highlight also we had the church also participating because Mam Betha Goa was a community builder mm. who brought together not only the unions, the labor unions, the workers with business, but also brought together communities with government, brought together communities with the church, with government, to build an enabling environment right, right. for economic activities. So the speaker who spoke to us, speaking to that, to say at this moment in time, it's no more just about what is it mm -hmm. that someone out there, some forces or what mm -hmm. can do, but it's about what each one of us as South Africans can do individually, on an individual level, as well as as institutions. Mm -hmm. And that is why the example that's coming Mm -hmm. from Betha Goa uh, uh, Hospital is inspiring. The example that comes from the AME Church, mm -hmm. which on, not only uh, encourages people spiritually, right. but also enables them to overcome the tiring circumstances that they are facing. And the speakers also reminded us, these are actually times mm -hmm. to collaborate, to hold hands, to come up with new innovation is a time for public and private sector to work together right. to ensure mm. that we create new realities. It's time to invest in the skills and development mm. and for all of us to work very hard and also for us to reflect the very best values as mm. espoused mm. by Mama Betha Goa. Let me also highlight as I close one of the things that Mam Betha Goa was privileged mm. to meet her when I was um, executive vice president as a CSR. Mm. And she said to me, my child, we are happy that you are, we are seeing young people right. in this position. But please understand that we have gotten you there mm. so that you can also help our people out there. Mm make sure that you meet the needs of the communities, mm -hmm. that you build unity, that you also optimize development of people. It's not surprising that Mam Betha Goa inspired mm -hmm. development of women entrepreneurs in her environment. And up to this today, Betha Goa Foundation with the support of Nozala Trust, mm. yeah. is privileged to be supporting those enterprises. And we are pleased that government is also through CEDA coming in to say, how can we support you? So as to grow those en enterprises to ensure that we not only address issues of poverty, but also that we grow economic activities and success in the environment. It's time to work together. Mm. It's time to optimize what is good within us, mm. to make sure that as South Africans, we can move forward. I like what uh, Dr. Mahal says about uh, taking the baton from the likes of Mama Petha Goa. Let's speak about uh, now the, the need for this uh, level of co cooperation or collaboration beyond these annual lectures that we may have. Uh, speak up to us about the needs of the community that the hospital is based in and what you are doing as well to help uh, meet some of the needs of uh, residents in that area. 
Okay, thank you very much. The, the needs basically that uh, emanating basically it's um, issues that talks to uh, gender-based violence. Because mm -hmm. in the vicinity that we are, there is increased incidences basically of um, gender-based violence. And uh, working in collaboration with our case center, what we have put forth is that um, um, there are basically awareness campaigns right. that have been done and um, prevention perspectives whereby there's collaboration with schools, early child development uh, centers, whereby health educators basically go in and educate the learners, educate the teachers basically mm -hmm. on how to ensure that there's um, sustainable basically achievement of um, uh, strategies that we are putting forth. And um, the, the second issue that uh, basically is emanating, as we know that the era that we are in, basically we are faced with um, um, COVID-19. You know, the hospital basically was designated as um, uh, the center for COVID-19 management. Mm. And 161 beds were basically designated. And we are basically working in collaboration with the cluster around that, you know, and, and that assists us. The other issue that was uh, looked for was waste management, mm. you know, and the hospital was in a position basically to be one of the best, you know, uh, efficient uh, facility around that. And what emanated is that um, we sign up with the Global uh, Green and Healthy Hospital, whereby uh, we are looking at uh, the issues that talks to waste uh, reduction and uh, the treatment and basically disposal. And also on pharmaceuticals, we are also exploring that avenue. So we are working in collaboration basically with um, the referral clinics because Bertha Goa is the only a uh, district hospital within the Egorulene. So we are basically uh, having that um, uh, sustainability with uh, all the clinics within the fora and announcing that uh, the quality of care is rendered across the Egorulene and mm. working collaboration with um, uh, other provinces because we tend to get referrals to, from other provinces yeah, yeah. because the hospital basically is looked as uh, the quality hub, you know, and um, the essence of um, ORAM that is coming on and Isibani also working with us in the CRISMO Clinical Research Center. So in essence, we are able to achieve basically what is emanating from uh, the service delivery needs. Right. Uh, Dr. Namani, I'll give you the parting shot here. And very quickly, if you may, yes. beyond the annual lecture, what other activities can we expect to basically continue to uh, shine the light on Ma Betha Goa's legacy here? Uh, to shine uh, the light of Ma Betha Goa is to continue to honor the human element in our society, to continue to unify South Africans, uh, both on issues of gender, on race, mm. but also on issues of class. And from Betha Goa Foundation, we are therefore committed to promoting women-owned enterprises because we believe that women need to go beyond just looking for shelters, mm. but mm. also to be the ones who are creating new innovations. And as we are seeing for women to be leading big enterprises mm. and industries. And in this regard, Bertha Goa Foundation is also partnering with universities, partnering with government, partnering with business. That spirit of collaboration, mm. that vision of collaboration, of nurturing communities, individuals, and institutions for the betterment of society is what we will continue to do. I thank you. Well, there you've heard it. That was Dr. Namani Machau, as well as Otomo Fugeng, speaking to us there about the annual, uh, that's the Bertha Goa Memorial Lecture and all the activities that were lined up there, which included speakers. That was Dr. Nkosa Zanadlamini Zuma, as well as Dr. Pumzi Lemlambo Nuka. Well, coming up, we'll speak to the Western Cape Health NEC, Noma French in Bombo, following reports that the province is showing early signs of a fourth wave of infections. Do stay with us.